Time now for the morning rush. Democratic Senator Jeff Steinborn wants the state to buy millions of COVID tests and then send them, send them out to every home. Now, with the legislative session just a few weeks away, Steinborn is hoping to set aside $50 million from the general fund to pay for the tests. Steinborn says that putting aside the money for the tests is now important in battling the virus. Well, the state has officially adopted the CDC's new shorter isolation period for people who have tested positive for COVID-19. That means that quarantine is only recommended for five days after a positive test instead of 10. Then it's recommended to stay masked up around other people for another five days. Erica. And here's a look at the school day forecast. Temps this morning are in the low 30s, so be sure to bundle up. And by this afternoon, it's going to be a mild day. You'll be shedding layers later on with all that sunshine. Well, the post office now fears a vaccine mandate will slow down deliveries. Starting on February 9th, all post office employees will have to comply with the OSHA vaccine mandate. Officials from the post office argue that enforcement of the rule will cause delivery issues as workers could be likely to leave over the COVID requirement. Well, the governor has plans now to make teacher pay in New Mexico more competitive, pushing for $277 million to bump up teacher pay. With increases in spending for expanded pre-K, tuition for college students, and expanding funding for police departments, next year's budget would hit nearly $8.5 billion, and that is up 13%. Well, the governor has signed the new Senate map into law. The legislature approved the map that was during a special session in December. Well, the bill changes boundaries based on the 2020 census data. Erica. Here's a look at the threat index today. It is low to moderate. We'll see some stronger winds across the east and those frigid morning temperatures across eastern New Mexico as well. So bundle up and it doesn't look like the wind will cause any power outages today, but it could by tomorrow. Residents in one part of the metro are upset about a proposed crematorium that might be built near their homes. Residents say that Bernalillo County did not send them anything about a meeting about the proposed crematorium coming to the area. Residents say that they want the county to know that they are ready to push back. BCSO says that they found possible human remains in a ditch behind a home off of uh, Montano near Coors. Deputies say that the body was called in on Wednesday night and that it appeared to be in the area for a significant amount of time. Officials say that they have not identified the victim and they are considering it a homicide. Erica. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a check on the maps. They're looking clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's Tracker. We're currently going south on I-25 near Lead and Coal, and everything's moving right along. Well, it's not the typical way that a goldfish would get around, but this is no ordinary goldfish. It's been trained by researchers at Israel's Ben Gurion University as to drive a tank on a robotic platform. The team believes that it suggests that navigation is a universal ability and shows fish are even capable of learning complicated tasks. Time now for the five facts. At number five, an historic theater in the heart of downtown Albuquerque is ready to welcome guests back. The 100-year-old Chemo Theater at Central and Fifth hosted its last performance in March of 2020. That was before the pandemic forced it to close. Well, the city took the opportunity to give the building a facelift, including some new roof, a new roofing rather, floors, paint jobs, and a state-of-the-art projection and equipment. The sold-out kickoff event is scheduled for next Wednesday. At number four, one man is working to help connect parts of New Mexico by air. Andy Hume runs the Las Cruces Airport, which currently does not have any uh, public passenger flights. Hume is behind a $3.8 million grant proposal that would launch in-state flights between Las Cruces and the Sunport. At number three, it's going to be a mild day. We'll see highs in the upper 50s here in Albuquerque, low 50s through the four corners, and 60s for the rest of the state, off to the east and the south. And number two, residents in one part of the metro are upset about a proposed crematorium that might be built near their homes. Residents say that Bernalillo County did not send them anything about a meeting about the proposed crematorium coming to the area and say that they found out through flyers that they saw, not on their doors, but further down the street. Residents say that they want the county to know that they are ready to push back. And at number one this morning, with the demand for scarce COVID-19 test kits, Democratic Senator Jeff Steinborn wants the state to buy millions of tests and then send them to every home. Now, with the legislative session just a few weeks away, or rather two weeks away now, Steinborn is hoping to set aside $50 million from the general fund as to pay for the tests. Now, the DOH would then be uh, responsible for distributing them. Under the plan, every New Mexican would get two boxes. Steinborn says that putting aside money for the tests now is an important investment in battling the virus. Steinborn is also planning on introducing a bill that would set aside another $10 million for N95 masks for New Mexicans.